Welcome back to The Shed. A few months ago, I ordered this huge lot of Philip K. Dick novels. It's something like 40 novels, um, and I can't even remember what we've got in this huge old box. So what I thought I'd do is I'd crack it open and we'll have a look together. I've almost forgotten exactly what's in here, so let's have a look together. So I'm going to keep the camera rolling, most of this. I've cracked open the box and there's a ton of books in here and I started going through them live but I noticed that the sound wasn't working so I'm going to go through them again uh, but geez am I excited so we will go in the order that I took them out in so first out of the box was Philip K. D's Mary and the Giant now I can't remember reading this one uh, is it a novel or a short story seems like a novel uh, have you guys read this one Mary and the Giant this one doesn't come to mind. Um, I was saying that I read a whole lot of Philip K. D. back in, uh, it would have been 2005, 2006. I went through a phase where I was just reading almost just nothing but PKD. Uh, but I haven't revisited PK since the, we reviewed The Man in a High Castle on his channel. Uh, so I'm looking forward to getting stuck back into PKD over the years. I've got a ton of his uh, novels on my e-reader, but like I said, I bought a whole lot of them, read through them, but I haven't gone back. The Penultimate Truth, PKD. Now, I read a whole, uh, this one was made into a novel, uh, into a movie, was it not? Do you guys remember for sure? I'm pretty sure this one, Ring Isabel, I have read it back, back all those years ago. Uh, but the novels are in really good, really good order. Lies by PKD. Now this one is uh, an extended version of the novella, The Teleported Man. I'm almost, almost certain. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, the unteleported man. Yeah, that is indeed the, the extended version of it. Lies Inc. by PKD. Again, really, really good nick, these novels. Really happy with them. The Cosmic Puppets. This one I don't know. No, it seems to be a novel. I can't recall reading this one though. Have you guys read this one? And I'm so pleased that these novels are in a very good order. I ordered them months ago and honestly, I, I've forgotten... I know there was a lot of them, but I don't really know what was in there. Um, Clans of the Alphane Moon. This one I haven't read. But Chuck Rittersdiffid, a 21st century CIA robot programmer, decides to kill his wife by remote control. Bastard. He enlists the aid of a telepathic Ganymedian slime mold called Lord Running Clam. <laughs> cool. An attractive female police officer and various others, witting or unwitting. But when Chuck finds himself in the midst of inter in the, an in the interplanetary spiring on an alpha moon inhabited entirely by certified maniacs, his personal revenge plans begin to go awry in the brilliantly inventive tale of interstellar madness, murder and violence. Um, I love P PKD plots and his novels, I think, are just some of the best uh, novel, novel titles I've ever read. Uh, Counter Clock World, PKD, I have read this one, Voyager Classics, I absolutely love the understated cover in these, what a wonderful novel this is, the, un the Voyager Classics, uh, do you guys have any Voyager Classics? I I'm so impressed by the cover and the simplicity of this that I really want to hunt them down, there seems to be a whole lot of them, Fellowship of the Ring, Asimov Foundation, Bradbury Fahrenheit 451, just flying through them. Plenty of Tolkien, some Clive Barker, Arthur C. Clarke, Romy Nephi, Stephen Baxter, H.P. Lovecraft, love Lovecraft, uh, Megan Lindholm, Michael Marshall Smith, C.S. Lewis, a whole lot of them. I am, you'll see some more of these coming up. I'm definitely going to be collecting these lot. They are very, very beautiful. I love those. Have you guys got these? The classics? I'm going to be hunting those down. But really impressed with that cover art. This is what's so dangerous about book hauls, right? And you see them, I've seen, I've got a couple. Like my SF Master Series by, um, I think that was Sphere, if I'm not mistaken. Now, New English Library, right? Um, I love these cover arts. And you find yourself slowly 
collecting them all purely because of the cover art. And this one, I've got to say, because of the non, <laughs> the not, it's almost like an oxymoron, right? I love it because of the lack of cover art on it. Very cool. Um, Philip K. D. The Unteleported Man. We saw that with flies. This this will be the initial novella. So what would be really cool to do is to read this and follow it up with Link Inc. And just see what the changes are, whether or not they've improved or uh, wrecked it. What well, is a pretty cool novella from memory. The World Jones Made. I'm pretty sure I read this one way back when. Pretty cool. Very 70s vibe on the guy's glasses. Uh, you know, I'm probably guilty of having some vintage glasses that look exactly like that. PKD, The Free Stigmata of, of uh, Palmer Eldritch. Yes, yeah, so I remember really enjoying um, the Free Stigmatas of Palmer Eldritch. It was very spiritual, a lot of religious overtones. Uh, it was a bit sporadic. Wonderful novel from memory. I'd love to revisit this one. But I think I might pause on that and just read of some, some of the others I haven't read to date. Uh, the Man in a High Castle. Again, what a classic, very understated cover that one is. We've covered uh, The Man in a High Castle on this channel. I just can't get over how cool that very basic cover art. I think it says it all. If you can afford to put a book on the shelf that looks like that, you know you've made it. And PKD 100% has made it. He's got to be one of my favorite authors, PKD. I mean, it is a bit of hit and miss. He's got some wonderful novels that I absolutely love. And some novels that I remember reading through it thinking, okay, what the heck did I just read? He's that kind of writer, but I do like my PKD. The Father Thing. Now, this one here, one in three of the collected short stories. And we'll quickly go through them. There's a, quite a few in it. And uh, what we got? We can see that, right? We got Fair Game. I've got to get some backlight on it. Fair Game, The Hanging Stranger, The Eyes Have It, The Golden Man, The Turning Wheel, The Last of the Masters, The Father Thing, Strange Eden, Tony and the Beatles, <laughs> what a classic title, Null Zero, um, reminds me of a, um, what do you call him, Brian Aldous novel, oh, was it Brian Aldous, we'll come back to that, The Seek, what's that, To Serve the Master, Exhibit Pierce, The Crawlers, Sales Pitch, Shell Game, Upon the Dull Earth, Foster Your Dead, Pay for the Printer, War Veteran, The Chromium Fence, Misadjustment, A World of Talent, and Simon Hill, My Child. Volume 3. Great. <clears throat> um, also noticed in the box, we got Volume 5 as well. So, collect the short stories. I'm not sure if there'd be any more in the box. I got to halfway before the voice started playing up. Um, so, we'll have a look at what we have. But we can remember it for you wholesale. Let's have a quick read through what this one covers. It's got the little black box, the war with the, what's that, finules? A game of our chance, precious artifact, retreat syndrome, a Terran odyssey. Your appointment will be yesterday. Holy Corral, we can remember it for you wholesale. No, by its cover. No, by its cover. We were just talking about covers. Return Match, Faith on Our Fathers, The Story to End All Stories for Harlan Ellison's Anthology. What a title, Dangerous Visions. Um, the Electric Ant, Cadbury, The Beaver Who Lacked. <laughs> Classic. A Little Something for Us temp temp Tempionauts. Oh, interesting. The Pre-Persons, the, the Eye of the Star, uh, The Eye of the Sibyl. The day Mr. Computer fell out of its tree. Brilliant. The exit door leads in. Chains of air. Where, web of ether. Stranger memories of death. I hope I shall arrive soon. Rotowa's case. The alien mind. And that's about it. Um, yeah, I love PKD titles. Got a couple of interesting comments at the back. But we won't bore you with all of those. The Crack in Space, PKD. Again, these novels are in just such good condition. And to the person who, and if you happen to be watching the person who I bought this lot from, uh, thank you so much for negotiating on the cost because I think, you know, they're well worth what we agreed on with price. 
Uh, again, another collected short stories. This one is the turning wheel and other short stories. So I'm really glad to have a, a quite a good selection of PKD short stories because sometimes you just want to pick up that quick short story, get over a bit of a bump, and I'll be marking those off, you bet your word. Confessions of a crap artist. <laughs> like, didn't I say PKD has just got the best titles in the whole of science fiction, I reckon. Confessions of a crap artist. Um, now, isn't that just a great title? Um, I could name quite a few people who live up to that title. <laughs> but anyway, that's about 20 or so, I think. The Man Who Japed. I remember reading this one. Can't recall much of it. In the, in the Man Who Japed, a world that has survived a nuclear holocaust has given away to the rigid system of oppressive morality. Highly mobile and miniature robots monitor the behavior of every citizen and the slightest transgression can spell personal doom. I do remember this one and you know it reminds me of uh, the novel we covered previously on this channel uh, Tomorrow and Tomorrow by Hunt Collins. Very kind of similar themes. I do remember The Man Who Japed. Um, yeah, good, no good novel that one. A Maze of Death. The cover art of this one reminds me so much of Robert Silverberg uh, in that classic era when he was doing uh, in the 60s and the 70s. There's something about that cover that just reminds me of Silverberg. PKD, The Variable Man, and other short stories. Again, so a collection of short stories. I wonder how many are going to be duplicates because we have so many of these anthologies. Um, but I'm not too upset about that. And if I do find that we have quite a few double ups. I might look at doing a bit of a giveaway at some point in time. <laughs> Talking about classic novels, what about this one? Dr. Blood Money or How We Got Along After the Bomb. <laughs> but I, I love PKD. I think I have read this one from memory. Um, but I love loved the working title. Yeah, very cool. <clears throat> Vulcan's Hammer by PKD. This one doesn't come to mind. I'm not quite sure about this one. Ah, so we're back to the box. <laughs> so sorry about that earlier. Okay, so this one is a duplicate. We were just literally reading that one. Which ones do we prefer? i got to say, I like the vintage look of this one more. Ah, oh, well, one duplicate so far. That's not too bad. I'll put that one aside. Ubik. Uh, I love the, the little blurb on the front here, for it says, For everyone lost in the endlessly multiplicating realities of the modern world, remember, PKD got there first. <laughs> True. Ubik. I do remember reading Ubik. I do remember enjoying it as well. Now wait for last year, PKD. This one is a, yeah, the SF Masterworks. I remember reading this one. Uh, like the Hugo and Nebula that I read all those years ago. I already also went on a bit of a challenge. Um, it would have been about 10 years ago where I read all the SF Masterworks. And I remember reading this one as part of me reading that wonderful collection of wonderful novels. The Simulacra. This one I remember reading as well. PKD. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 21, actually. Martian Time Slip. This one, too, I remember reading when I read all the SF Masterworks. Um, good, wonderful novel as well. So we got a couple of um, SF Masterworks editions, which is great. Oh, this one's exciting. Radio 3 Albemuth, a newly discovered novel. I haven't read this, but you know what's exciting? It's a hardcover. I forgot that there was a hardcover in this. That is pretty neat. The sniff test. <laughs> the sniff test for my good old mate Jim. Um, that one's for you. <laughs> Dr. Futuri Futuri Futurity. I can't remember reading this one. Have you guys read this one? What do you think? Which one's your favorite PKD novel so far? Which is your favourite PKD novel? I've got a couple and I've never really been able to narrow it down. Maybe one day we should do something similar and try to rank all the PKDs, but we'd be there forever. The days, <laughs> I've still got to finish all the Hugos and their Bullers. Oh, 
Volume 4 of the collected stories of PKD, The Days of Perky Pat. I wonder if this is the same publisher that we saw with the other two. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, unfortunately it looks like it's a different publisher, so I'm not going to go read through them all. Maybe I'll put a list. Um, I wonder, yeah, I wonder how many will be duplicated. But just reading through them, I'm not going to bore you all, but it doesn't look like many jump out as duplicates. But again, another collected short stories. I'm going to have a lot of PKD short stories. Eye in the Sky, PKD. This one I do remember reading. Pretty cool cover art. Have you guys read that one? The Zap Gun. <laughs> this one too I remember reading. Again, very good, very good order. The books are in just such great condition. Um, I mean, some of them, like the spine, looks like they haven't, they've never been read. It's like they're almost new. Really, really happy with this lot. Our friends from Frolix Eight. Have you guys read this one? I believe I have read this one as well. Again, you know, one of the reasons I wanted to start this channel, and I'm so glad that so many of you have decided to join me and watch my shows regularly. Um, because I just didn't want to forget my experience reading these wonderful novels. Hence why I do this. One of the big reasons I do this anyway. The other is really to share my passion with these wonderful novels with you all. Uh, and making new friends which I'm so glad I've been able, I can actually say I've made on this channel so far. So thank you so much for your continued support. We've got only a handful left so let's get cracking. The Preserving Machine and other short stories. Okay, so we're going to have a, quite a collection of short stories. I will go through them and sort of um, maybe put it down in the comments as to what these uh, short stories actually have in them. Um, and if we find some duplicates, I might do a giveaway. I love PKD titles. <laughs> Galactic Pot Eater. It's just brilliant. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I've read this one. And I wonder if I recall correctly, because if I did, I think this was just all over the place from memory. Galactic Pot Healer. Now this one is interesting because um, I'll read the blurb because I don't know, it, it just says something about the way th the world's going at the moment. But it says this, uh, and it's black on orange, just about the worst for my eyes. But the Glimmung wants Joe Fernwright, whoever the Glimmung are. Fernwright is a pot healer, a repairer of ceramics, <laughs> not what you might have thought, in a drably ut utilitarian future where such skills have little value. And the Glimung, the Glimung is a being that looks something like a gyroscope, something like a teenage girl, and something like the contents, <laughs> the contents of an ocean. What's more, it may be divine. And like certain gods of old earth, it has a bad temper. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I read this one. But it always makes me think about AI and, you know, what seems to be happening with AI and how many jobs potentially may go. But there's always hope because I think with AI, as much as some jobs will go away, new opportunities and new things may come of it as well. So it's interesting times that we live in. But yeah, that one sort of comes to mind where so many of the skills that these people had were just obsolete, no longer required. Made me think. The Game Players of Titan. This one looks like one of those classic pulp fiction novels, doesn't it? Not the cover. So isn't it cool that we've gone from some very pulp fiction type cover arts to some very understated, almost blank covers. Um, really happy with that. A Scanner Darkly. This one I have read. And this one jumps out as one of the ones that really stood out and um, I remember reading and enjoying at the time. Yeah, interesting. And again, very good quality, the novels. Um, you know, the one that sort of doesn't jump out at me is we don't have Blade Runner or the Android's dream of electric sheep. There's one left in there. Oh, hope. <laughs> Let's have a look. Ah, it's not, but it's rather interesting because I hadn't realized, or at least I, I might have forgotten, and you keep saying, show me, what are you talking about? But I hadn't realized that PKD and Roger Zelazny actually co-authored a novel. Here it is. Deus Irae. After the Holocaust, a new god emerges. What chances has Tibor McMaster's one, must I say, limbless heretic against the awesome power of the legendary Deus Irae, the wrathful entity behind World War Three? Commissioned to be, to, to what's that? Commissioned to paint the deity's likeness, Tibor must fight, 
first find him, and to do so, he must travel across the nightmare landscape of the post-Holocaust post world, I should say, braving its terrifying mutations with his Christian companion, acts and orders to sabotage his mission. Interesting, because when we did cover Roger Zelazny's for his novel, This Immortal, it was almost a very similar kind of landscape, wasn't it? It was the post-apocalyptic sort of world that we're going through on this mission to try to find that whatever it was that these aliens were trying to keep hidden from man. Um, and it almost rings the same, doesn't it? Uh, actually, I think of all the novels on here, this one's piqued my interest the most. Again, I, I like my religious themed books and this one just by reading it, it's got a bit of that thrown in. Um, and I think I'm really going to enjoy that. Let's just make sure there's nothing left in there. No, there's nothing left in the box. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, it's a pretty big book haul. Let's count it up. So 35 all up it ended up being. Um, so that was it. I'm pretty excited to have a whole lot of PKD back on my shelves. I used to have a pretty big PKD collection, uh, but I thinned them down when I thinned down my collection all those years ago. So I'm glad to be building them back up and having a whole lot of PKD back on the shelf behind me. Hey, thank you so much for joining me in the shed. It's always a pleasure sharing my passion with you all on these wonderful books. And nothing ignites that passion like a big book haul. And probably no better than PKD when it comes to that. So thank you for spending time with me in the shed and I'll see you next time when we crack some of these books open and have a good old read, talk to you what I liked, what I didn't like, we'll make some recommendations and we'll rank these great old novels and thank you again for your time in the shed.